Hey there, church. I hope you're doing well, and I hope you're enjoying the warm weather that we finally got, considering it's almost the middle of June. It's been a while since I've done an update video, but we have some changes coming, so I guess that means it's time for another update video. I wanted to bring you in the loop in some things that are going to be changing here at the church beginning at the beginning of July, and I let you know these because they may affect you. The first one I want to talk to you about is our Saturday night live stream. There are some changes to what's going to be happening beginning the beginning of July. We are going to be wrapping up our current series on the Holy Spirit, which goes through the end of June, the same format that you're used to in the same way that you have been experiencing since we relaunched our services, where Saturday night will be a long-form message that will be complementary to the message you hear if you come to our in-person gathering. Beginning the first weekend of July, what we're going to do is merge what you would experience Sunday morning with what you have seen, what you will see on Saturday night. So you will have a slight variation during the time of sanctuary that will work best in this format. But then we will take some time during that Saturday night live stream to bring the communion thought that will be brought on Sunday morning and to share the same message, the shorter version of message that you will hear if you come in the building on Sunday morning. Now, there's a few reasons why we're making this change. Number one is we recognize people will be away on holidays through the summer, and while they're away on holidays, they may not be able to come into the building, but I know a lot of people have really appreciated the way that we're doing our gatherings on the weekend, and we want to provide that. Second is that, simply put, it takes a lot of effort to do two different productions every weekend and in the summer with some of the staff away on holidays, maintaining the quality that we want to maintain and giving you the teaching that you have come to hopefully expect is something that we just didn't feel we could do with the holidays and all of the other things. And the third reason is because as we head into the fall, uh, we are planning in September to relaunch our Saturday night gathering in person. We're not sure how this affects Sunday morning yet, so if you have questions about that, we don't have the answer to them, whether there will still be two Sunday mornings or one Sunday morning. We're working through all of that. And through the summer, that's one of the things we will be putting together because the goal is, beginning in September, to have our Saturday night gathering start again. Obviously, that's going to mean further changes to the live stream and possibly the end of the live stream again as we figure out what to do. But for the summer, while we make these changes, we're going to be simplifying the whole thing. So whether you tune in online or whether you come into the building on a Sunday morning, you will experience a very similar gathering. I know that for some people, they've really come to appreciate the long form sermons and the long teaching that we provide online. And we know that that will be missed through the summer. We recognize that, but we hope you will understand and we hope that you will be gracious to us as we try this out for the summer. The other announcement I want to bring you to your attention is regarding Right Now Media. At the beginning of COVID, we as a church made the decision that we were going to get a subscription to Right Now Media and provide it to everyone in the church so that they could have some tools to be able to study scripture and grow in their faith, especially during that time when we couldn't meet together. One of the things that we have done regularly is to uh, study the numbers and review the numbers of how many people are using Right Now Media. And while we recognize there is a small number of people who are still using Right Now Media, that number is way too small to warrant the cost that the church is continuing to pay. So we've made the decision that we're going to be canceling our subscription to Right Now Media. So if you are one of the few people who use Right Now Media, we recognize that this is a loss for you. But we just couldn't, didn't feel like as stewards of, of the resources that God has given us as a church, that was, at this point, the best use of those resources. I hope you understand that. If you have not used Right Now Media in a while, then we recognize this probably isn't a change for you. And that there are a small number of people who have continued to use Right Now Media and that this will be a loss. And we are sorry that you are going to experience that loss. But we do hope that you will understand how we came to this decision. We didn't come to it lightly. We didn't come to it easily, but we did feel that this was the right one. As always, if you have any questions or comments or concerns about any of these things, we want to hear from you. I would love to hear from you. Please take some time to email or text or reach out with a phone call and let me know what your thoughts are. We are all in this together. And as we continue to navigate change, our hope is not that the change offends, not that the change causes problems, not that the change brings division, but that the change can be something we can work through together, that we continue can continue to walk in unity as the body that God has called us to be as we continue to image Jesus by becoming love. Thank you for your time. 
Hope you have an awesome day. And again, if you have any questions, let me know. I look forward to hearing from you.